Here he goes, right, with this line. Oh, how is it? It's good. Dude, that stopped really good. Try it again. Ready? What's going on, guys? My name is Josh, and welcome back to the channel. And I'm not gonna try to hide it from you. You've already seen the thumbnail, so here it is. Here's the go-kart. So this is a Manco Critter go-kart. Uh, just bought it a couple days ago. This will be a project for me and my son. It does need a few things, but overall it's in really good shape. The frame is in amazing shape. No rust whatsoever on the sh on the frame or the floorboards or any of the any any of the frame really. So um, the engine in good in good shape. It's a uh, it is a uh, Tecumseh. Um, it's a little five five horsepower power sports motor. Um, not bad shape actually. It actually looks really clean. Uh, the guy that I bought this thing from said that this thing's been sitting for, um, I think he said 12 years. He used to ride it as a kid and then they just kept it in the garage for 12 years. So it's, it's in really good shape. It does need new brakes. The brakes are pretty much shot. Uh, that'll be the first thing we do. That's actually what we're doing today in today's video. So stick around if you want to see that. Um, but we are going to be doing other things to this cart. Um, so you'll want to subscribe if you want to see us do other things to this cart, including brand new carburetor. We have a plans for a new carburetor. We ordered one. Uh, we may just clean this one if that works. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but I have a new carburetor uh, just in case. Uh, new tires eventually. Obviously the front tires are really, really worn. No big deal. Um, let's see what else we have planned. I do have new padding coming. We're going to change the padding to red. I think that would look cool. Um, this is my son's project, so uh, we're also got we got mirrors. What else do we got? We got mirrors coming up. Eventually, we're gonna get lights for the front, little headlights. I think that'll add a nice little touch, but we'll see. It'll be up to my son. He'll probably want to do some upgrades, you know. So we'll have to see what he has in mind. Really, uh, I'll let you see the brakes here. It's really rusted. This is a band brake system. So this is the band you see right here, and it goes around a drum, which is hard to see. Um, what I bought is the drum and the band. We'll have to see if the drum is bad. If the drum's in good shape, we might just keep the drum. We don't know yet until we take it off, but um, we'll have to see. This is the uh, the brake. And then it has a brake line here that attaches to the band there. There we go, you can kind of see it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is his cart. Um, I do need to run to the store real quick because we're gonna have to take this tire off. And uh, to do so, I need a socket that fits that. None of my sockets fit this. All my sockets are a little too small. So uh, we'll just run up to the store before my son gets off of school and see if we can't find a socket. Alright, so the store I need to go to is just on the other side of this bridge, but apparently we're going to go the long way. I mean, it's literally right there. Alright, cool. So this is the one that worked for me. It's a 15 16th. And it works perfectly, it actually fits on there great. The problem is, I'm a dummy and realize I don't have a half inch socket to fit in there. So I get to go back to the st store. Don't worry, it's not really chocolate. Um, I think I'm gonna run to Harbor Freight real quick because I know they have that ratchet that I need. Uh, it's gotta have a little half inch uh, drive on it. Uh, no problem, they have those, but I also want to look at the engines that they have there. Not that I ever think I'm going to replace that engine, because that engine's in really good shape. Um, but I know people have, and they have the engines on display there at Harbor Freight. So I'm going to go take a look at those, and who knows, it might spark my interest. And someday, someday we might end up uh, doing an engine swap on that thing. But um, as for now, I think we're going to stick with what we have, and uh, just kind of throw a few bucks in there, new carb and things like that. That thing should be running tip-top. What'd you do? Did you use the bathroom? 
Good girl. All right, guys, it is getting a little late, but we're gonna go ahead and take the tire off of this go-kart. By the way, Gabe is home now. Is that, what is that, a vlogging camera? Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways, weirdo. Um, <laughs> the part's not here yet. The Amazon man should be here anytime, or at least he says he's on his way, but uh, we need to get this tire off anyway, so let's go ahead and get the tire off, and then we can get started on this drum brake. Let's go. All right, so this is the tool I got today. Should be able to just Crank this guy down. I listened it up just a minute ago just to make sure, but yep. Yeah. Let's crank this thing off. This is a big boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is, broke it loose. All right, so now we need to, let's see here. Let me see what we got. Ooh, it's all attached. That should be easy. But we gotta figure out how to get the chain off. All right, so now that I have the middle bolt here taken off, I kind of just worked the chain off a little bit. It was loose enough that um, on the larger, um, I guess, sprocket here, I guess is what it's called, um, I was able to just um, work it off a little bit and then turn until it came completely off. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, just mess with the chain until it comes off. And there is the drum here. That's the drum right here in the center. So that's what we're getting. We're getting another one of these. And then we're also getting, I don't know, can they see that? Yeah, right here, the band here. This whole entire band replacement is gonna be on there. So we'll have to see how hard it is to get this drum off, see if it's actually worth replacing. It's actually in good shape. Doesn't look bad. There's really no rust on that. I might not take that off, guys. I might just replace the band and see how that works out. Better safe than sorry, it's coming anyways. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, guys, so actually before the part comes, we're actually going to do this real quick. These are little cotter pins. Anyways, we need to remove these cotter pins. So a lot of these are going to be bent, especially if they're older, if you have an older go-kart. Um, so just try to bend them back and just do whatever you can to get these out. I'm just using needle nose pliers to kind of... There we go, they bent a little bit. Dang, these pins are in bad shape. Hopefully the new one comes with new cotter pins. These cotter pins, man. There we go. Nice. Cotter pin is out, so this should actually, in theory, come right off. There we go. Oh yeah, it should come right off. I see it. Yep. There we go. Ooh. There it is, there's the band. That's what we're replacing. So yeah, I guess it is probably good that we're replacing it. There's a little bit of damage. They actually, the, I mean, you can tell by how thick it is. That's still, I mean, it still looks like a lot left but it's in, like greasy maybe, that's why. We're gonna clean all this up. We need to clean all this up, all these parts, we're gonna clean it up before we put it back on. All this grease that's on here, taking all that grease off, we're gonna clean all this up before we put it back together because we want it to be in good shape. Even all this, all this is gonna be like all new again. Might as well try to get this one off too because we're gonna have to replace it. It's gonna be a montage of me just Trying to pull cotter pins out. <laughs> like a whole montage of cotter pins. Stupid cotter pins. Stupid cotter pins. Stupid, stupid cotter pins. I hate cotter pins. <laughs> stupid cotter pins. Stupid cotter pins. You know what? Whoever cotter is. Whoever cotter is. Stupid cotter pins. Who invented these stupid pins? I hate you, cotter. <laughs> <sighs> stupid cotter pins. Stupid cotter pins. Stupid, stupid cotter pins. I mean, it's almost there, look at it. Well, Cotter needs to go sleep in his cot and never wake up, wow. Cotter friends. Oh my gosh. Ha -ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go, all right, you watching? Yeah. All right, so then there's this uh, thing that goes right down the middle. Boom, boom. Ha <laughs> ha. Cool. Screw you, Cotter. <laughs> The neighbor's got a new uh, air conditioner. Nice. Cool. Stop it. All right, so now I'm not gonna mess too much with some of this stuff. 
like all that stuff down here. But as far as like on the frame, I want to try to clean some of this up. So I'm getting some of this oh. grease off. See, isn't that satisfying? That is very satisfying. Yeah, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but yeah, it's definitely cleaning up nice here. And all of this, you can't see it on camera because this is black probably, but all of this has just so much grease and grime built up on it. So, how's it looking? That's it, cleaned up pretty nicely, dude. What do you think? Yeah, it looks There's much There's some parts better. that like are hard to get to, but I mean, for the most part. Got the parts, let's go. Rip her open, dude. Oh, we got the flag. Okay. So we do have, we already had a flag, but we want the, uh, the actual flag to it was torn, so, and it had a good deal for the pole and the flag, so we went ahead and grabbed that. We got, there's the brake assembly. That's, the, that's what we needed right there. That's what everything we took off. We're gonna compare that in a minute to make sure it's similar to what we already have. It's really coming out. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the reds look as good as I thought they would. They're made really solid, though. I, feel I that, like feel, how, feel how solid that is. Ooh. And, and like the mirrors are like blue. Yeah, they're like blue tinted. Yep, definitely. I see the primer right there. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's a little primer thing. There's the carb itself. Comes with a spark plug, all the stuff that we need, dude. This is kind of a tune up kit, but it comes with the carburetor. That's the actual carb right there. Oh, it looks almost exact. Yeah, that's going to work, dude. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's get this uh, brake back on. All right, guys, so as you can see, it is daytime again. A couple days have gone by. Uh, we ran into some issues with this brake band. Um, basically, the one we got, it's a uni universal brake band, um, and it should work, but it doesn't. Um, and I think I know why, and I'll go over that in just a minute. But basically, here's the new one. Um, you know it's the good one because it has this little bracket right here. Um, you'll see on the, um, the old one here. Also has the bracket. So this little piece right here. And then the universal one does not have it, obviously. So that's a good indication. Uh, this old one, actually, it's really rusted, but if you compare it to the new one, it's really not that bad. Like as far as the, um, the pad goes, it's in a little rough shape, obviously, if you look close. Well, this one's a little newer, but I'm honestly, I'm thinking if this, this might, I might hold on to this, because this might have just been like, gotten some grease on it. Um, but we'll hold on to this, but, but anyways, I'll tell you why I think this didn't work. So this is the, the old one, right? This one would have went right here and then it goes right on this little bracket right here or this little nubby right here. And then the top part connects to the brake rod, which is this little black rod down here. It's just hanging at the moment, but, um, and then this brake rod obviously goes to the brake pedal. And so I think the reason this didn't work is because I think this universal works with one of these. This is a brake cable and it works with this brake. Um, it's the same size. It fits a four inch. Um, obviously they, they're, they're very similar in size. So they both fit a four inch drum, but for some reason this one, this universal one just doesn't have enough reach. Uh, but anyways, this is the one we want. This is the one I got. This is from GoPowerSports.com. I am not sponsored by them, but I will put a link if anybody is looking for the brake band for a Manco Critter go-kart. It's a Critter 2, and it is the one-seater. I don't know if that matters. I doubt it, but it's a Manco Critter, and this is the brake you need, and there will be a link in the description. Let's get started on installation.
right, so there it is, guys. We changed the brakes on this uh, go-kart here. Um, this is the brand brake system. Uh, you will see that is the new band right there. Uh, it works pretty well. It is kind of stiff right now, but I think once it gets worn in, it should be okay. Um, I think the next thing we do is just let it roll down the hill and make sure it stops because the engine is running a little rough right now, which will be something we tackle in the next video. Uh, we'll be changing the carb, by the way, so if you guys want to stay tuned for the next video, we'll show you how to change the carb, and not only the carb, but I think we'll be doing the spark plug, the oil, the air filters, and everything that came included in this um, tune-up kit that I have right here. Uh, looks like we got a new hose. Um, my favorite, personal favorite part about this is this right here, which is a little shut-off system for the fuel so you, that your carb doesn't get gunked up. If it's sitting for too long, it uh, comes with a spark plug, which we'll mess with later. comes with the air filter. Of course, it always comes with the extra clamps and things like that that you need. And then the most important part is over here in this box, but this is the, the other carb that we have. And I'm going to hold this up to this carb. You can see how similar they are. Okay, so... Try to show you the best I can in this awkward position here. This is the old carb. This is the new carb. Has they both have the primer on it? Um, looks like they're very similar. So we'll see how this works. So what we'll do is we'll throw the new one on, but we'll also clean. Um, we'll clean the old one and use it as a backup, as a spare carb. But that'll be in the next video. If you guys want to see that, you'll have to subscribe to the channel, turn on your, po uh, your post notifications, and uh, be notified when that goes live. That'll be the next video that goes live on our channel, because that'll be the next thing we tackle. All right, we got Gabe to test it out for us. Yep. You've never put a seatbelt on before? I have. Yeah. Turn the other way. All right, Gabe's gonna do the maiden voyage, see how the brakes work. Break again? This one? No, that's the gas. Okay, okay, okay. Just like everything. Okay, okay. I'm worried about you, kid. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. All right, turn the wheel the other way. Let's go. Okay. When you get to about the second line, try the brakes. Yeah. Here we go. Right with this line. Oh, how is it? It's good. Dude, that stopped really good. Try it again. Ready? Yeah, try it again. Dude, how did that feel? That, that feels smooth. Ready? Yeah. There it is. Not too much. Remember, you got brakes if you need them. Go, go, go. I think that clutch might need to replace. I might need to replace that clutch. All right, Parker over there. All right, kill switch. So we, it, the brakes are way better. Now we got to get it running. How the heck you turn it off? Push the red button. Oh, you're in there forever, bro. I'm stuck. <laughs> Let go. Okay. Obviously, we need to get new tires. We'll do that in a later video. If you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe. If you guys want to see us do the full tune-up kit that I showed you earlier, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to see us add mirrors, we're going to add mirrors to the front of this thing. Right, Gabe? Yeah. In fact, we already have mirrors, but they're the wrong size. I just figured this out. I'll even show this real quick. Here, hold this. So my intent with these, can you hold it real still? Yeah, I am. Was to have these mounted on 
This, unfortunately, this looks like this is a one inch tube. This might be a three quarter inch because this is too small. So somehow I need to make some sort of mount or adjustment to mount this on the side. Um, we'll make those adjustments sometime, um, but we'll need to do that before we do the foam, which by the way, here, come over here. Okay. New red foam, right? Yeah. So new foam, there won't be that black stuff over there. Mm -hmm. None of that black, that black foam. We're now gonna have this red foam. Let's go take a look. Okay. It's a little pinkish, but it'll look good on there. I like them. Yeah, we'll have black black ties. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes, guys. Lots more to do. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys wanna see more on this series. This is our go-kart series, right, Gabe? Yeah. What are we gonna call it? We need to think of a name. The go-kart series, this doesn't, this doesn't do it. Little Critter Series. Little Critter Series? Yeah, Little Critter, boy. Little Critter. Little Critter. All right, it is Little Critter Series. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to try out the brakes now. You want to film me? Sure. I think it's not easy for me to get in and out. There we go. That feels really good. That stopped like a high dime. Good, right? Yeah, pretty good. They feel really smooth. Pretty good. Oh, high five. <gasps> I did that on purpose. <laughs> Definitely not on video.